Meiosis is a special type of cell division where gametes are formed. And gametes are sex cells involved in sexual reproduction. In our body cells or our somatic cells, we have 23 pairs of chromosomes. So 46 chromosomes in total, but 23 pairs of chromosomes. In the sex cells, they only have 23 individual chromosomes. And that's because the male gamete, say in humans, is the sperm. It contains 23 individual chromosomes. And the egg contains 23 individual chromosomes. In sexual reproduction, when the sperm fertilizes the egg, we get 23 from dad, 23 from mum, and the zygote that's produced has 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs. So meiosis is the process of producing daughter cells that contain only half the number of chromosomes. Just a little bit of terminology here. In our somatic cells, where we've got 23 pairs of chromosomes, the pairs is the important part, we call that the diploid state, D-I, diploid. But when we have half the number of chromosomes in the sex cells, we call that the haploid state. So meiosis is the process of making daughter cells that have half the number of chromosomes as the parent cell because it's producing gametes for sexual reproduction. Meiosis involves two rounds of division. And so I'm gonna demonstrate meiosis to you using my daughter's socks or my children's socks. Our somatic cells, our body cells, have 23 pairs of chromosomes. A homologous pair of chromosomes have the same genes in the same place so they've got the same genes, but they may have different alleles or different forms of the gene. So in this particular organism here, we have got four chromosomes or two pairs of homologous chromosomes. So one from mum, one from dad, perhaps one from mum and one from dad. The process of meiosis is to form a daughter cell that has half the number of chromosomes because they're the sex cells and uh, in sexual reproduction there's union of the male and the female sex cells to form the 46 pairs of chromosomes again or in this case with this organism we're going to have the um, uh, four chromosomes in the offspring but two are going to come from mum and two are going to come from dad. So I'm going to show you this process called meiosis now to demonstrate, using my daughter's socks, demonstrate meiosis to produce um, daughter cells with the haploid number of chromosomes, or half the number of chromosomes of the parent. Meiosis has two rounds of division. The first thing we need to do in uh, interphase is we need to do uh, DNA replication. So we have two chromatids for each chromosome, just like we've seen previously. So that's just DNA replication. Now that happens in interphase. And then in prophase, the DNA condenses to form the chromosomes as we normally know them. Now, uh, I didn't show you, but in prophase, the chromosomes would have looked like this. It would have looked like just big long strands. Okay, so by the end of prophase, we have got our spindle starting to form. And then in metaphase, our chromosomes need to align themselves along the metaphase plate or the equator. Now, in meiosis, they do that in what we call tetrads. So they line up like this. So there's actually contact between these homologous chromosomes. Now, at this point, what can happen is we can have some crossing over. So maybe some of the genes from here can swap over and be on here. The other thing that's worthy of note that we'll look at later is 
that it's purely by chance that they've arranged themselves like this. They could well have arranged themselves like this. And that ultimately will dictate what alleles are in each of the sex cells. Okay, so that's metaphase. Now, of course, in metaphase, we've got our spindle fibers that are coming out and attaching to our chromatids. And then in anaphase, they retract and the um, homologous chromosomes separate. The homologous chromosomes separate. We then go through telophase and cytokinesis and we end up with two daughter cells. This is only an intermediate step. We've got two daughter cells that look like that. So remember the goal of meiosis is to develop or produce daughter cells with half the number of chromosomes. So we're not there yet. We need to go through another round of division. This time it looks just like mitosis. So in our metaphase this time, we're going to align along the metaphase plate, along the equator, like this. The spindle fibres are going to come out again. And then in anaphase, we're going to get the retraction again, and the chromatids are going to separate. And then all we need to do is go through telophase and cytokinesis again. And we are going to have four daughter cells that have half the number of chromosomes of the parent. So we end up with four daughter cells with half the number of chromosomes as the parent. So we've got the haploid number or the haploid state. And that is meiosis. <laughs>